Oh hey everybody, 650 Eve here. Welcome home to the channel. Today I'm gonna jump on my Pinagalli V4R and head to some scenic Ohio roads that you probably haven't seen in my videos for a very long time. But before I do that, I gotta show you guys some cool stuff that's installed onto my beautiful F250. Our good friends at E-Trailer hooked me up with an airbag system made by Airlift that lifts up the back of the truck when I need to attach a trailer and haul stuff. But in addition to that, I gotta show you guys something that's super cool. I think you're gonna get a kick out of this. Let's see. So you hear that little growling noise? That is the air compressor going into effect right now. And you guys got to see this. So we have it set up in the back here. Over there is the air compressor, right over there. It's going to silence itself in just a couple seconds. But my good buddy Steve, Five Up Motorcycles, installed an air system with a 50 foot retractable hose and I got all this stuff here to attach to the holes so now I can dispense air and check my air pressure and stuff like that and I like to do that on my motorcycles because even though we'll wheel this out just a little bit okay even though I keep the bikes on front and rear pit bull stands it's still a good idea to check the air pressure every now and again. <laughs> All right. And my, and my Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SB3 tires, I haven't put the fours on these, on this bike yet. I do like to have the air pressure in the front set to about 32 PSI. At the rear, beautiful Diablo Super Corsa SP V3. I like to have it at about 34 PSI for the road. Says Zach, the master mechanic. And I can put this back where it belongs. Always keep some spare RBF 660 brake and clutch fluid there. There we go. Now I can turn it off. Put things back for storage. And now I'm ready to take that beautiful bike off of its front and rear stands and hit these filthy streets. Definitely gonna have to get the good buddies to return to these roads with me. A lot of the new generation of riders have never experienced this. But you know, the Trinidad v 4 loves these roads. It loves the track. Basically loves whatever the owner wants to do <laughs> with this motorcycle, huh? Me, I like a mixture of uh, stuff. Highway smackdowns, nice roads like this, and of course the track. Road. 
Look at this beautiful place, guys. I'm gonna pull right over there. Look at that. That's fresh water, you know. Wow, oh, look down there. Okay. Oh, they made it all rocks. Last time I was here, this wasn't rocks. That's okay. This is somewhat of an off-road bike, I presume. Ah, it can make it through the rocks very carefully. Hey, you geese! What are you geese doing? Besides pooping all over the place, I smell your stinky poop. You're not afraid of my engine. You're not afraid of my duck, geese? You should be. All right, let's position this beautiful bike for some B-rolls and slow-mos and Instagram stuff. Oh, the memories. So this is a road that we discovered years ago and we used to do smackdowns on this road because it's perfectly straight and if you catch it at the right time, there's no traffic going either way. And when we first saw this road, we were like, oh my God, look how straight it is for so long. Again, that was before we started traveling and discovering other roads that are even longer on the highways with no civilian population or residential homes and stuff. But it's just so funny. We were racing and we would shut down the race right about here. So that we, we give us enough time to break before this curve in the road. Wow. Wow, CA Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was enough fun for the day. <laughs> that and my freaking clutch is acting up again. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Great. Just freaking great. Okay, so uh, we're gonna need some new parts for my clutch. Either a clutch master, clutch slave, something. Because Kyle has bled it. Zach the Master Mechanic is bledded and it's still 
acting up, but that's okay. We will get it fixed. Well, I just couldn't stop riding. So I had to swap my broken Ducati for one that actually works and works very well. The drive clutch on this machine, totally awesome. And now I'm blessed with added comfort as well, but I still have some of the amenities from the Pentagalli V4R, such as the dry clutch, amazing power, beautiful gauges. And this will allow me to continue riding for just a little bit longer. This bike loves these type of roads too. I'm gonna have to take it down back to Atwood, where we just came from. This bike has cornering lights that activate when you're turning a little bit. You can really see it at nighttime. It looks pretty nice. Quite a bit of traffic at this time of day, I must say. For a Sunday. Oh, look at this guy. Woo! Yeah, too much traffic to get really frisky, guys. Especially when guys are on their phone like him and just driving however they want. That's always gonna be my excuse for law enforcement. Hey, I'm trying to get away from texting drivers and stuff. That are trying to run me down. That's why my speeds are justified, huh? Whoa! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I think I scared him back.
guys. <laughs>